okay guys here's problem four let's do problem four okay so now the metal spheres x y and z are carrying charges uh, they are placed in this fashion okay in the vertexes of a right angle triangle shown below okay so here is a right angled uh, triangle okay so uh, now you notice that we have uh, a right angle, uh, a right angle there. Okay, so we have 90 degrees there. So now, what, what does the, the 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 question want here? Remember, we did questions similar to this one, whereby we have a right angle triangle but this one is a bit different okay so says so calculate the magnitude of the net electrostatic force on sphere z okay this is sphere z okay so now notice that this uh, sphere y exerts a force on z okay this is z exerts a force on z that goes uh, down okay that goes down because sphere y has a positive charge and sphere z has a positive charge okay so this is force uh, y y z not x z force y z okay force y z and now notice this that this uh, x Exerts an attractive force to Z, so it pulls it towards, uh, you know, in the direction of diagonal, something like this. Okay, so it pulls it to that direction. So this is F X Z. Okay, so you notice that we can't do what we usually do, like to calculate the resultant using Pythagoras straight okay so now we have uh, we have a problem here okay what is the problem that we have this one this force has two components as well we have to resolve the components of f x z okay so and then after resolving the components of f x z then we can take those components and add them to this and then we can calculate the resultant force okay so now you will notice that this one because it's pulling that direction here we have another right uh, uh, angle triangle okay so meaning now this is the y component this is the uh, uh, x component of what of f x z okay so this is f x z x this is x component okay and then this is f x z y this is the y component okay so now how are we cal going to calculate these components we need um, angles okay so here if you can check we have angles um, we have angles so but which one are we going to use huh? which one are we uh, are we going to use because here we can see that uh, they are acting in that uh, 60 degrees uh, angle okay so this one uh, is acting at 60 degrees to what to the y-axis you see this force is acting 60 degrees to the y-axis okay so but what can we say here okay so if you can check here okay so if you can check now what i have done here is this okay on this diagram i did this okay I did this okay so now uh, here there's an angle okay so if this is 
a right angle triangle okay so if i duplicate this right angle triangle it gives me what it gives me uh, a rectangle okay so now we know that this uh, and this gives us what 90 degrees okay so 90 minus 60 i have 30 degrees okay so meaning here the angle is what is 30 degrees okay okay so and then here it's 60 is that 60 degrees okay so now uh, i'm going to calculate the components of fxz first okay using the 30 degrees okay so this is the triangle uh, and then this is uh, f x z okay so i want the components here which is f x z x and then f x z y okay so now how will i get these components first of all i have to know how much is f x z okay so f x z i can calculate it by coulomb's law okay f q x f q z divided by r squared okay so uh, now 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by uh, qx qx is what uh, 2 when 1 micro coulomb 2.1 micro coulomb okay multiply by z is 1.8 micro coulomb okay divided by the distance here is 6 times 10 to the power minus 2 meters 6 okay it's centimeters actually this is centimeters okay uh, so here uh, you must not forget to square this okay so let me square that so 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiply by 2.1 times 10 to the power minus 6 times 1.8 uh, times 10 to the power minus 6 okay divided by 6 centimeters okay all squared so i have uh, uh, 9.45 newtons okay so now remember here i said that we have uh, 30 degrees okay so now uh, f uh, x z x component it will be f x z cos of of 30 degrees okay cos of 30 degrees okay because it will be uh, adjacent over uh, hypotenuse okay so now here i have 9.45 multiplied by the cos of 80 degrees so 9.45 cos of 30 so i have 8.18 newtons okay and then what about f of xz the y component so it will be 9.45 sine 30 okay Uh, sine 30 degrees okay 9.45 30 okay so 4.73 
Yes, 4.73 newtons. Okay, newtons. Okay, so now I have resolved this uh, this force into components. Okay, so now let me calculate this the magnitude of x of of y and z. The magnitude of y and z. Okay, so let's use Coulomb's law to do that. F y z. So k q one q y and q z divided by r squared is equals to uh, nine times ten to the power nine multiplied by q y uh, one point five k okay, microcoulomb one point five microcoulomb and the other one is one point eight microcoulomb okay so divided by the square of the distance three centimeters uh, three centimeters okay or squared so let's press our calculator One point five times ten to the power minus six times one point eight times ten to the power minus six divided by, by three centimeters. Um, okay, so here I'm getting twenty-seven. Okay, I'm getting twenty-seven here. Twenty-seven newtons. Okay, so let's go back to the diagram. Okay, so the diagram is like this the first diagram. So I have uh, I have this uh, and this. Okay, but this has this and this. Okay, so I can add this. Uh, to be same direct to be in the same direction actually not direction same component these ones are in the same component and this one is on a different component so this one is f x uh, z y this one f x z x and then this one is f y z okay so now my fr is going to be the square root of okay it's going to be the square remember that now i have uh, two things so i have to choose a direction let's say if i choose uh, up as positive i'm going to have on the y i'm going to have a uh, f x z y minus f y z okay all squared plus this is the y component okay and then the x component is f x z x all squared okay so this will give us our result end okay so uh, now okay f uh, x z y f x z y is 4.73 so 4.73 minus f y z mm, f y z is 27 minus 27 all squared plus into uh, f x z x is 8.18 8.18 newtons okay so let's proceed and press the calculator 4.73 minus 27 
uh, squared plus 8.18 all squared okay. so now fr is 23.72 newtons okay so now did the question say the magnitude okay I only said magnitude so this is uh, this is the answer notice it, it has taken us almost twice the time that it was required to take us okay but it's because i was explaining so this is how you answer that uh, problem okay guys thank you so the next video it will be on electric fields okay